Well, there was a very interesting article that came out of the Al Monitor. And the headline, as you can see, it says, Iran threatened sanctions against the U.S. over treatment of black Americans. Now, this isn't the first time I've heard this. There was a report that came out from China that detailed, and a lot of you have not seen it. Um, I actually saw it. I was reading it for a while. And all the details of what was happening to us in the United States, what happened to George Floyd, what happened to Breonna Taylor. Oh, the Chinese had it all written down. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why the Chinese started firing back off at, at the U S is because they are saying that well, the U S saying they having human rights abuses because of the uh, Uyghur Muslims in China. Now from what prison guards have said, what they're doing over there to the Uyghur Muslims, I mean, it's bad. <laughs> oh, it is really bad. So I get why the U S and other countries are saying something. It's, 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 they torture them poor people. But at the same time, China was like, you can't say nothing about us. Look what you do to black people. So that's what they start going on. And it's not the first time China said that they had a meeting. Uh, you remember in Alaska a while back and they tried to tell them something and they say, Oh, look what you do to black people. Look at black lives matter, George Floyd. So see, you know, black Americans, and how we treat it, the whole world knows. Now what's happening is that the world is firing back off now. If you remember the president of uh, the Philippines, uh, Rodrigo uh, Duterte, him, you know, when they're trying to call him names saying, oh, he's being too authoritarian because he had this war on drugs in his country. He say, well, look what you do to black people. Your police shoot him like, you know, uh, many, many times in the back. He said, you always killing black people. So listen, everybody know, and now what's happening is they using how they treat us in America against the United States. And actually that is a good thing. Why is it a good thing? Because they are gonna have to get that monkey off of their back. The more and more these other countries are doing pushback, right? So it says that the Iranian government vowed today, which was December the 9th to impose sanctions on the United States over racial and policing issues. Like I said, secretary general of Iran's human rights office, uh, Kazim Gahar Badadi uh, said the Islamic Republic will publish a list of American entities and individuals involved in human rights abuses. He said they will then be subject to sanctions from Iran. Is the official Islamic Republic news agency reported? Now it said the guy said he did not offer any specifics on what the sanctions would entail, but said the move relates to policing issues in the United States, particularly in regard to Black Americans. Now. He didn't, they didn't say LGBT. They didn't say that. They didn't say people from South of the border. They didn't say nobody else are black Americans because let's call it what it is. Everybody in the world know black Americans are abused, used, enslaved in prison. According to the 13th amendment, the same amendment that freed you, the same member that enslaved you. They knew all this. So Iran specifically mentioned the case of George Floyd as a brother that was killed by the police, you know, with Derek Chauvin uh, in Minnesota. Now, of course he was convicted as we all know and saw earlier this year. It said the official also referred to the treatment of prisoners in the United States and the big number of women in jails. That's according to the Islamic Republic news agency. Now they say Iran state media outlets and officials frequently comment on police and racial issues in the United States, particularly George Floyd's murder and the black lives matter movement. That's in October, the semi official press TV reported on a defacement of a George Floyd statue in New York city in September, Iranian foreign minister, um, they say Hossein and I'm going to say, a, that's a long name, and I ain't really trying to pronounce that long name right now. Uh, mentioned uh, George Floyd's, you know, murder in a speech about racial discrimination around the world. Now, the predecessor, it said that it was before him, Mr. Mohammed Javad Zarif, it said made similar comments in June. He said he criticized Europe for being definitely silent about the Black Lives Matter protests in the United States and the police response to them. He said U S cities are scenes of brutality against protests and press as military crackdown is threatened. 
It said, they also noted the numerous U.S. sanctions on Iran in his remarks today. It said the two countries are currently negotiating a U.S. return to the Iran nuclear deal, which would lift some of the sanctions in exchange for Iranian compliance on this nuclear program. Now, there was something else that happened. We're talking about people now trying to get at uh, the United States and other uh, entities. Nigeria. They planned reciprocal flight bans on four countries over Omicron. Now, you remember they went to quickly ban um, African countries. So they're saying here, you know, Nigeria plans to ban flights from Argentina, Britain, Canada, and Saudi Arabia from this week in retaliation for being added to those countries red list over the ten- detection of the Omicron, you know, virus. Okay. So it said that the variant last month, it says several countries have restricted the movement of people from some African nations since the Omicron variant was first detected in Southern Africa and Hong Kong. Okay. It's since spread to 47 countries. Now recorded comments shared with journalists on Sunday, Nigeria's aviation minister, Hattie Sarika said that he recommended the four countries should be placed on the COVID-19 red list, which entail a ban on flights. He said, we we have given our input as aviation that is not accessible by us. And we recommend those countries, Canada, UK, Saudi Arabia, and Argentina be put on the red list, just like they did similarly to us. And they said, so I am sure between now and Monday or perhaps Tuesday maximum, all those countries will be put on the red list. Once they're on the red list, which means they are banned. Their airlines will also be banned. I say Britain was the first country to announce the travel red list, which Nigeria has described as unjust and unfair. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up in this particular story here, we first was talking about Iran, talking about sanctions because of black Americans. Now Nigeria is saying, you know what? Okay, you banning us. Now we're about to ban you. I'm bringing those two stories together to say this. Other countries are starting to retaliate now on what, has been happening against them and they're not allowing the West to get away with hypocrisy no more. So just as much as Iran say, you know what? Well, shoot, we're going to put some sanctions on y'all for what y'all do. Black Americans. Matter of fact, in the UN, you know, they had a reparations conversation. Jim Crow Joe didn't want to hear nothing about the reparations meeting they had with the UN. Nothing. He, 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 he said, no, I got to talk about COVID. I don't want to hit him about no reparation. Listen, the whole world know our story and we have been doing a good job as black Americans as getting out our story, getting out the injustices and other countries. know. other countries have seen our movements and been inspired and say, you know what? We're going to reciprocate. Now we're tired of being bullied. We're tired of the sanctions. We're tired of being banned. We're sick of it. So if you, whatever you do to us, we're going to do back. Now, Ghana, they did that. If you remember that story where they had banned them and then Ghana say, okay, UK we ban you. And it wasn't even a week. They dropped that ban. So they're not used to people retaliating back and saying, well, I'm not going to let you bully me no more. You understand what I'm saying? So some people may say, well, that just more be, be political. You know what they talking about? It may not have no teeth in Iran. Well, everything's political. When, when America put sanctions, on countries that's all political, but also America had put sanctions on Ethiopia too. Okay. Put sanctions on Eritrea because Eritrea joined with Ethiopia to, to go against, you know, what's happening in their country right now. And what I'm saying is people are getting tired. Africa is getting tired. You know, people in the middle East, they getting tired of being bullied around. And they know America's Achilles heel is black people. And maybe I I could make this, you know, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if I see it down the line. You know, the strategy China is using right now in Africa where they're, you know, partnering with them, giving them loans, you know, to do their businesses or or doing infrastructure, et cetera. It wouldn't surprise me down the line that China do the same thing in America, but to black Americans, right? Chinese are already here in America and they got deep pockets. I know black people. If if the Chinese (laughs) right now, you people say something about them, but the Chinese has start partnering with a lot of black folks here and, 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 and helping them get their businesses off the ground, helping black folks expand, putting black people on into that manufacturing and, and letting black people, you know, all the things of black people, right? 
you know, good and well that <laughs> black folks be like, man, shoot, man, China, all right, man. You're not black folks, huh? He said, man, I tried to get a business loan. The Chinese come in there, man, told me they could, they could hook me up and shoot, man. I, I'm set now. I'm set, man. Shout out to China, man. You know, you know, I mean, <laughs> don't be surprised if they do that. They're already doing it in Africa. You think they won't try to do that in, in, in black America? And, and they would do it to try to undermine the U.S. Because they, they, they know that, you know, something like that will force the U.S. to pay reparations. It will force them, actually, because they couldn't have the Chinese at basically economically helping black people. You know what I'm saying? Putting black people on to that and connecting them in, in business and all kind of things like that, that, that these people try to keep us out of. You understand what I'm saying? They already strategically uh, hooking up with black people now. Just to, but they get to the celebrities. But the time going to come where they're going to get down to the, to the small business people too. They already got the infrastructure to do it here in the U.S., to be honest with you. Don't be surprised if they pull that. Because if I was the, the CCP, and, and 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 I know that's my enemy's Achilles heel is that one group of people that they, they purposely, you know, abuse. They purposely uh, have a made whole. They purposely kill. They pur purposely steal from them. They keep doing these people wrong. I mean, they're going to have to pay reparations, bottom line. Because, like I said, the, the Chinese ain't not about to stop doing what they're doing. They are not about to stop. Trust me. This this building road initiative and this this is trying to take over the world. They're not stopping that no time soon. None. Even if you go to the continent, you may be dealing with the Chinese because the Chinese are building everything up over there. You man, the, the white man, he he left the, the continent in squalor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and I talked to brothers and sisters over there talking about the Chinese and why they deal with them. So all this story about Iran and then China put out a human rights report talking about what they do to us and how Nigeria now is retaliating, you know, what happened to them. Like basically the world is tired. The world is tired and we live in a good time period. We really do. Ethiopia, Eritrea, they're tired. Understand Zimbabwe, they're tired. And it's going to make people unify a lot quicker than, than most. Cause they just recently saw South Africa and Ghana, you know, they, they unifying right now, <laughs> you know, they not saying unity, but they, they unifying because you don't, you work better together than apart. You're sitting ducks when you're apart. Right. But the thing is, we'll see, we'll see what Iran, you know, we'll see what these sanctions are and we want to see exactly who, what I want to see the entities name and why. I, I just want to see. And once again, CNN didn't report this one, MSNBC, Fox news. You would think Fox news would report this, but no, cause you know, that can make Biden look bad. Right. But no, they're not reporting this because though they, they are, they are controlled opposition. All of them. There's certain things they say, do not report that. Don't tell that because we don't want to give no black folks, no ideas of supporting anybody else outside of us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we just want to bring you this story. And, and, and so, you know, say Iran talking about putting sanctions. Zimbabwe said they, they reciprocating the bans and the Chinese had their own human rights reports and, and talking about us. Well, like I said, the, the world's definitely, definitely interesting now, but it's your first time coming here to the podcast. Thank you for coming. Uh, we welcome you, you know, here to our podcast, make sure you subscribe, you know, that's the way, you know, uh, when we present, you know, new content. And if you enjoy the show, make sure you, uh, donate, you know, donating, help us keep the lights on and thank you for listening. We greatly appreciate you coming over and see you next time.